Hi there. Today what I'm going to show you is how easy and how simple it is to build the LWC using uh, the form builder. Basically what we are going to do is to build a form uh, and then embed it into uh, LWC. So first let's go to the form builder. I created a form that displayed the files of the account. Of course I can do the same for any other object. I also put some fields just for the test from the account in order to update. This is a regular form, but now I will go to the limit, click on the SF LWC, configure it. I will choose good search for session and the record ID. Record ID will be in this case the account ID. So this is what I need to do for a single form uh, in order to make it available as LWC. Now let's go to Salesforce. If I will go to the account now, you can see I've detailed and the related. You can see a few files. Now what I want to do is to create LWC for the account. So I will go to the builder, the lightning page builder, and if I will go down, I will scroll, I will see in the manage package as part of the Titan package, I have Titan LWC. So now let's create a tab. Let's call it um, LWC file, down, and then let's drag this one. Now what I need to do, as you can see, Titan URL, I need to pass the URL, this is the URL that I copy it for, and that's it. Now let's go back to the account. Now I will see three tabs. So if I go to the LWC file, uh, there you can have it. There you can see the different files, you can view them, and you can see this is LWC created like in one minute, just embedded in the form. Of course, it takes a few hours, it might be taken to create a form, but you don't need any development. So basically now I can do any changes that I want in the form, and uh, immediately it will take effect on this uh, uh, LWC inside Salesforce. Now, in addition to this, what I want to show you, the integration user now is, is basically the user that I'm connected. This is uh, the username that I'm working on. Is that mean in Salesforce? And uh, when I will do an update, name of course is Gal Filoni. This is also the owner, but that is not important. So we go to the detail, let me refresh. So you will see that now I made an update and this is the user. Now let's access with a different user, which is not the integration user. So let's log out and access with the CFO. What I want to show you is that inside the LWC, whenever you are doing an update, you are using the user which is connected to Salesforce. You don't need SSO, and it's not using the integration user. So I will go again to the LWC, and let's load the page. Now I will change, let's say, change this one, save it. And let's go and refresh the page. Now let's go to detail and CFO updated the record. So this is another advantage that you can uh, use it in order to embed forms inside Salesforce and uh, all the security, the person's permission of the user will be based on the user that access Salesforce, and not the integration user that connected the, the builder to uh, Salesforce. That's it. Thank you.